Mostly. Maybe you're like, did you hear the latest rumor? Yeah, I heard it on Command Point. Oh, and also, do you know how bad those guys are at the game? Yeah, the Command <laughs> Point, yeah, I've heard. <laughs> They're pretty yeah. shitty. They missed this and this and this and this when they talked about the FAQ last. We see you. <laughs> and it wasn't really good. No, it was fine. It was, it was a very yeah. long episode, but we knew it was going to be a very long episode. And it was the first one, so I feel like... <laughs> Yes. Whatever. Now we can just get better good. from there. <laughs> that was the point. We wanted we to do a sucky episode, <laughs> so then we can just go so we upwards. we can make a good episode afterwards. Exactly. Good. Welcome. Nice. And, and uh, once again, we're doing an episode that's focused on one subject. Last time we did a subject that's very huge, which was the FAQ. Yes. Today we are focused on a more tiny, tiny subject. Well, it's not really a tiny subject, <laughs> but it's a smaller subject for sure. It's a more direct subject, or yes. a more focused subject, in a way. And we're actually going to have a picture up on my miniatures as we talk about this. Isn't that lovely? <gasps> on your miniatures? Yes. But what about my miniatures? Who the fuck cares about your miniatures when we have the Death Watch? <sighs> but some of my miniatures do have Look Death Watch these stuff on them. That's true. You can act, well, you, yeah, because you sheet. <laughs> And once again, hello yeah. everybody that's listening, hello everybody that hangs out in chats. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't miss out and go down and check the links below so you can see this live and comment all the hate live instead of in the comments below. Yes. Uh, this is H8 and I am Nurgle Probe. And today we hello. are talking about the Death Watch rumors as marked by my beautiful picture right here of my own Death Watch. Ignore the yeah. de Dreadnought in the background because I haven't played the one to the right. I have not painted that one. So that's why it's you so mean the sucky. One on the left. No, right. No, right. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I yeah, they are so tiny, it probably doesn't even matter. There's also like a flyer there in the corner, as you can clearly see by the base. Yeah. So there's a lot of Death Watch. A lot. There's some Death Watch rumors out. And since I am a Death Watch player, I thought, why not talk about it? Because I have some points to make, and you probably will break them down <laughs> and with I your own break opinions. Them down and say they are like really terrible points. Oh, you have such nah. bad ideas, Nurgle, like always. Oh, Nurgle, you young, naive man. Yeah, well, young? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that's nice. Yes, so, I, yeah. I am young, of course. Uh, if H needs to be lo hired in volume, let me know in chat, and I will fix that. So, we can fix it. should we just start at the very first let's... point? Yes, let's start with that. I'm going to Go stop ahead, talking. Uh -oh, I'm going to do it? Oh, I thought, okay. Well, well I'm gonna... it's your army, and I'm just here as a... Commentator. Guy. <laughs> I'm just here as a army. guy. <laughs> You're here. I'm just here. I'm just here because I had to be here. Because <laughs> you forced yes. me to 20 minutes ago. Uh, cry. Uh, cry, cry. No. Uh, so the biggest news there you go. about the Death Watch Codex is something that we all kind of... All Death Watch players already kind of guessed. Because all the Primaris units that are out have been added to the index through FAQs and updates and like small things that you can just add to your book if you want, uh, where you dun, have dun, access dun. to all the Primaris stuff basically, all of it. By the way, just all gonna make it them. clear. They even made some art that was specifically with Primaris with Death Watch armor on. Which Do is they really cool. count in the uh, big hover tank as well? They got the hover tank, yes. Well, yes, in the Death Watch. Oh, cool. I'm pretty sure of that, anyway. I'm not super sure, because I'm not very interested in the hover tank. Mm. What's the name of it again? The Primaris oh, tank? Oh, it's called, like, the Repulsor. The Repulsor. Like that. That's the name. So, the rumor right now is that Death Watch will actually get a kill team version of the Primaris Marines. So, if you're not a Death Watch player, or if you Ooh. don't know a lot of Death Watch... It basically means this. So the army right now has only one troop choice, which is the kill team, which can take any kind of marine unit or troop or choice. So any Terminator, any guy with, on a bike, jump pack, and so on, and put them into one unit. And depending on which models you have, they get special abilities. So if yes. you have a jump pack dude in the unit, they get the fallback and can still charge ability. Uh, that had a name before that I don't remember now. 
it probably still has a name that I don't remember. <laughs> I have the index. I could have looked it up, but I'm lazy. No. Uh, yes. We are no not a quality it. podcast. It's don't called worry the Primaris Repulsor, by the way, the big hover tank. Yeah, I was I was pretty sure that you were correct about that. Cause, yeah, yeah, me too. So that's the thing that the kill team that was there previously did. Different units, different... Yeah. Like, the, depending on what you picked, you got different abilities. And you, any we can units... Mix Exactly. And all the miniatures could have any kind of gear, basically. You could give them any kind of weapon, two weapons. It was super cool. It is basically why you play Death Watch, because it's cool. They are the alpha squad of the Space Marines. Yes. What do I call them? The Riots? No. What did I used to call them? No, the, the, uh, the SWAT team. The SWAT of the team space. of the Space Just. Marines. Exactly. Yes. Uh, and the story, them being fighting sea. We don't have to go into that. So, Primaris is coming into the Codex, instead of having each different, like each of the units that the Primaris have in the Codex, they will just make a Primaris kill team. Yeah. Which is that super interesting. Really, really cool. So that means that you can have the basic intercessors, I believe their name is. Intercessors, yes. Yeah, and then mix all of the other three types of units. So we have Reavers, we have Hellblasters, right? Yes, and then the last one is called... The Interceptors, I believe they're called. Oh, right, there's actually four... There's four ones, and then there's the heavy yeah, ones. Yeah, the Aggressors. The aggress- there we but go. they are not... I don't... Should they apply? Because I don't yeah. think... You can't have the... Uh, what are they called? The big Marines inside of the Death Watch, right? Yes, you can. The Terminators, yes. <laughs> no, not Terminators. The... Um... The, the the space marine inside a space marine suits dreadnought. Yeah, I don't. I'm not talking about the dreadnought. I'm talking about the heavy weapon, Primaris. Yeah, I am. You mean you mean the Primaris aggressors? That might be the thing. Yeah, they they have two but heavy weapons. Normal space marines have uh, something that is called devastator. Not no, not devastator. That's like the closest comparison. Yeah, We're doing quality content right now. Not, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm actually scrolling... Uh, through the units? <laughs> yeah, through everything. What are you thinking about? It's not in a store. Oh, wait, I do have a codex. It's much, Any- much better. Anyway, as I was saying, so the whole idea probably is that you do a kill team with the Primaris, you mix in different kinds of units in it, and you will get different kinds of abilities depending on what kinds of Marines you put in the unit. And yeah. there's also some of the rumors say that you can put the Primaris in the normal kill team and vice versa, which I think won't be a thing, personally, because that sounds weird, and I don't want a Primaris well, next to my other Death Watch, because then they will look so tiny yeah, in their cool it armor. probably be a bit weird. Because, yeah. yeah, if you didn't Maybe know, you... yeah, I the, uh, the Death Watch armor that is out now, the kit, actually is bigger than the standard Marine already. So they actually yes. are a bit taller already than a normal marine. So then you put a Primaris yeah. next to them, and suddenly that, you know, the bulkiness they had now looks like they're just small marines again. <laughs> so I, it feels weird to do that. But a Primaris kill team, I'm all in on that. And I hope they get, speci- like, other rules compared to the other kill team. There it is. Centurion is one of the- it's the thing I've been thinking about. Yeah, you that... can't have Centurions inside no, a but... kill team, right? No, and I wasn't even... Isn't that the Dreadnought thing? No, Centurion is... Yeah, it's kind of like a Dreadnought, but not a Dreadnought. Now I need to Google, cause, uh, so we don't confuse what the we're talking about. The Centurions are like the... The, 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 uh... the heavy weapon guys. Yes, you can have them in a squad. Yeah, the super heavy weapon. You can have them in the... If, you, the if you're talking about what I'm... Hold on. Not Devastators. I don't do uh, holes, holes Primaris or Normal it. Marines, so... You know the Centurions, when you put... Oh, the cent- No, in. yeah, yeah, those. No, no. no do, exactly. do people even because play those? Like those? But they don't even have that as an option in Death Watch at all. Yeah. So... Okay. Well, then. There's my point no is unit. Used. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, since they <laughs> don't have access to yeah. that at all, that's probably yeah. the reason for that. Otherwise, I bet they would. Oh, maybe. maybe. I don't know. I don't know where they would fit that in. Mm. Oh, well. Anyway, shall we move on? Yes, we shall move so, on. So, Primaris kill teams, what do you think about that, H? I think it's logical, really, because it's already there inside the Death Watch teams, really. 
So I don't really have. I mean, it's just logical. I mean, yeah. why wouldn't they? It would be interesting to see, actually. Especially, I don't know how it works with the movement in those squads because I need. Yeah, I guess you need unit coherency. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I don't. You can't mix jump pads and normal walking units, right? Yes. Or can you? You can. You can. Yep. So how does that work in unit coherency when jump pack? They still can... have since in the new rules, a unit won't have a single stat anymore. I, I mean, they don't have to anymore because in the past you usually okay. took the most normal stat and that became the stat for the whole unit. These uh, days, okay. so if you, one has movement twelve and one has movement six, as long as yeah. they end up within unit coherency. It doesn't really matter. All right. So it needs to stay in your coherence. So it doesn't yes. really matter. Yeah. So if your jump pack guy is in the back, he could move further, basically. Because he right. could Fair move enough. up in front now. Fair enough. So that yep. is good. Uh, 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 that's, that's interesting, actually. I'm actually really good. hyped about that. And it also means that the <laughs> easy to build kit are now like yeah. just pretty good for a Death Watch player. Because you could just buy one of each. Easy to build kit yeah, and build sure. a and just... kill team and try it out. Yeah. So you don't have to do true. like a super expensive unit to begin with. You can just make the easy to build kits, try the unit yeah. out, what you think, and so on. That is true. And I'm really happy about that. And uh, so and a I'm lot of the rumors. Oh, I yeah, am. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the Primaris overall, but I will still have a kill team with Primaris, obviously. Yeah. Or they like... have their uses, really. Yeah. They're like. Sort of meat shields and yet not. Yes. They're like just a bit stronger marines. So of course we're I'm gonna like take from what people have been saying on the internet and talk <laughs> about it now. One thing is of course Hellblasters is bonkers in the unit because now they get special abilities. They can Yeah. Uh, we're gonna come into another rule uh, in a little bit. They can get protected yeah. by the weaker units, like the intercessors. So now you can actually remove some weaker troops first and yeah. still keep your Hellblasters alive, which is nice. That's amazing. So you get some Hellblaster guards, which is, yeah, yeah that Hellblasters is Hellblasters are good. like really, really good and almost overpowered. No, uh, not, not overpowered, but they are just really crazy strong right now. Yeah. And hopefully the Primaris Marines also get this special ammunition from the Death Watch, which will also yeah. be super nice. Uh, Although, I don't know if that's going to work out or not. on the Hellblasters? No, no, no. The, the, oh, the special ammunition is only on bolt weapons. Yeah. But it wouldn't so. be on the uh, plasmas. Yeah. Oh my god. I just realized uh, the uh, interceptors, the flying ones, yeah. with special rounds. Oh like, my just god, that sounds so rounds. good. They have what do they? Have? They have like crazy amounts of shots please, each time. Please tell me about how many shots they have. My good sir, I will soon find out how many awesome. shots they have. <laughs> As you can see, we have not played with a lot of the Primaris things. <laughs> no, we're not. Let's see, interceptor, centurion. What do you see? Is this thing plasma? Yeah, assault bolter. Here we go. Type assault three. Yeah. And I believe they have two, so it's technically assault six. six. Yep. So sh six shots yep. at uh, normal, yeah. That's pr and then they're bolt guns, right? In... Well, they're stronger bolt guns. What they think? Strength five, AP oh. minus one, damage one. Oh, that's really nice. And then you can... So the most common ammo you would use, or that I've used anyway, is the two plus to hit. Or two plus to... Yeah, yeah two plus to hit. Or is it two plus yeah. to wound? That you have to answer. <laughs> yes. And I think it's to wound. No, and I think about it. Yeah. Uh, which is super nice. Mm -hmm. So it's just crazy amount of shots. And you have like different ammo ammunition as well. Mm -hmm. Just think about yeah, the Yeah, so you can give it extra one. AP, which is uh, an AP minus one already. And then you add an extra, yeah. extra to that. It's yeah. really good. That's crazy. Yeah. So those might actually be worth it. Because I don't think a lot of Marine players play those right now. Because they're kind of expensive in points. I believe. Uh, but in a kill team, yeah, where you can just so. have one for the lows yeah, and, and for the extra have, shots, yeah. why not? Yes, just go crazy with it. Yes. So, once again, people have said that <laughs> this will basically be the codex. If you want to play a Primaris army, this will be the codex you will use. Because they Which will is... have special rules. They will have, you know, more ways to play them now in this codex. 
I mean, I might see how that will happen. I don't really know, but I'm, I, I, have, I have trouble seeing it, actually. That's a problem. Because we already have all the information about them in the Space Marine Codex. But I do agree that we missed some flavor for the Primaris Marines, mm -hmm. especially through stratagems and stuff like that. You would think they would have some special stratagem in the Space Marine Codex, but they, they really don't. No. And there's like no benefit so, to have a Primaris only army. No. It, it's, it's just it's a marine more, army uh, with Primaris. <laughs> and way, way less uses of the stratagems. Oh, that's as true. Well. And also, high, more points put into the units, which is not that much stronger anyway. Yeah. At the moment. yeah I mean, but may, may, maybe it will work. Maybe if it works. If, if it's true. As, if it's true. We don't actually know. This is all rumors. No. But it's if they rumors. do get kill teams and rules with the kill teams, depending on the units, obviously yeah. that will be a nice way to play your Primars. Yeah. So we'll see. Then actually it would be an incentive to actually play Primars Marines more. Yeah. Instead of just being having stronger Marines in your army. Yeah. And that is... Like that. It's, it, for me, it's kind of weird flavor-wise, because Death Watch is all about... You know, the elites going out to fight the Sinos. And Primars well, are kind of the more, new guys. Not, more, not like elites, but the, you know, stealth. Well, the, the best of the best for using stealth, really. Mm -hmm. And that is, in my opinion, the elite. <laughs> <laughs> the special forces Just of the Space Marines. Stealthy power armor is the thing, apparently. Yeah. Uh, it just feels kind of weird to me that there would be a lot of Primaris in the Death Watch. Yeah. Uh, I mean... But I don't know. The Primaris Marines are there to really fill out existing, um, existing what's it called? Chapters. Existing chapters. Yeah. yeah. In order to strengthen them in coming for the com upcoming battles from the Dark Crusade. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe maybe they will be like more of a black shield type of thing. No, they wouldn't because they still no. are. They're, they're still based they on the gen genetics. They're still based on the genetics of the main chapters. Yeah, and the Black Shields are more like people, for everyone that don't know the lore, you can join the Death Watch without telling them which chapter you're from or telling them who you yeah. are. You can just join and say, I want to be one of you, and you can help them out. Yeah. And as long as you show your worth, it's fine. You can be a part of the Death Watch. And that's why they call Black Shields, because they often remove their markings. From which chapter yeah, they over. paint over the the entire shield yeah. shoulder pad that shows the markings of their former chapter. Yeah, uh, and yeah. they paint their armor black, obviously, like all the Death yeah. Watch. Uh, yeah. But Primaris don't really, they don't come from a chapter to begin do. with, do they? They kind of do. Are I mean, they Ultramarines? It, no. The thing about the um, I don't actually Primaris know. Marines, they're still based on all all of the different chapters gene seed. Oh, okay. So you still have Space Wolf Primaris, you still have Raven Guard oh. Primaris, you still have uh, Blood Angels Primaris. The oh, thing right. is, all of their gene seed has been cleansed, okay. or cleaned up in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's more they're more gene genetically pure. Okay. Than before. And that is a way to explain why they don't get the is it red thirst from the blood angels? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the curse from the woven yada yada. Yeah. Not yeah. that all space wolves have that, I think, but oh well. Okay. Uh, yeah. We've talked so. some lore now. <laughs> 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 and everyone is gonna yeah. correct us in somewhere, probably, about all of that. Probably. Tell us in the comments how wrong we were and what you think <laughs> about Primaris joining the Death Watch. Is it it make does it make sense? Maybe. Is it heresy? Or is it <laughs> it's for the Emperor? <laughs> yeah. Did I ever mention that I'm called Nurgle in real life? <laughs> Talking about heresy. <laughs> anyway. So we're moving yeah. on to the next point. That is of course to Strategy. uh stratagems, yes. For the Primaris Marines. Yeah. Do you want to mention the first one that has been uh rumored, or do you want me to take it and you can talk about it? Uh, I was thinking about the teleportarium one. Well, now you've mentioned it, you might as well just go for it. <laughs> it's honestly, it's not really a complicated thing to say. It's teleportar. No. It's called teleportarium. It's basically just they can deep strike a unit. Yeah. Um. Great. Question is, if they ignore the be... new FAQ rules, 
No. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a deep striking type of uh, you know the uh, from the shadows stratagem like the Raven Guards of or if it'll be a like remove the thing and place it somewhere else. Yeah. That or is the only thing we don't be... know. Yeah. Because yeah. it's only basically said, oh, it's a deep striking kind of rule, but it doesn't clarify what kind yeah. of deep striking Then again, the shadow is. strike wouldn't probably be it because that's not really deep strike. So yeah, Teleterian might be just place this unit that wouldn't normally... Yeah. I mean... Basi mostly because it's called Teleportarium at the moment, I feel like it's just, take this unit, you can now deep strike it. Yeah. It would that's, make more that's, sense. That's kind of what I think it would be. But it would yeah. be more fun if it was called something like, almost like the Ravenguard one from the Shadows, because they are the Death Watch. Barely they've yeah. infiltrated before they <laughs> it started. And that would have been the more fun, flavorful thing, I think, personally. Yeah. But, eh, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, the second stratagem then. Stratagem, a stratagem to give sniper rules on Death Watch units against Xenos. Which can be, so this is rumored, and they're not sure if this is a stratagem, or if it's a weapon, or if it's a rule somewhere. But if, and the sniper ability is, I think this is what they mean. Either it's always, it can't be always hit on the 2 plus that they're talking about. No. I don't think so. I think no. they're talking about the roll of a 6, you do a mortal wound <clears throat> as well as other, all other damage you would do. The I sniper think. thing, as the way I read it from the thing. Yep, from the in thing. Quotation, in, in quotation, not quotation, in uh, those little boxes. Yep. Uh, they take, for example, Hellblaster sniping synapse, synapse tyranids. The way I remember, Synapse Tyrannies are technically called characters, right? You can't shoot them unless they are in the front of an army, right? As long as they don't have 10 or more wounds. Yeah. Yeah. The sniper rule is you oh. ignore the. Uh, yeah, the, the, you uh, ignore the character. Rule for rule. Characters. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. The rule, so you of can course. shoot it. Yeah. So that might be, th be a thing. Yeah, that, that sounds so, like it so could be a thing. Yeah, so here we have now a Hellblaster unit shooting past other units in order to kill a character or something that can't be killed because something else is, is in front of it. I like it. That would be really, really good and really, really scary. <laughs> My character, no. Yeah, but that sounds like a yeah. really cool thing if that is a thing. And also, they mentioned that it would be against Xenos, so mm -hmm. we don't really know what it would count against. But we kind of have a theory on that, so we're going to come to that in a bit. Well, Xenos is like everything that is not Imperium or Chaos, right? Or Eldar is also Xenos. Uh, yeah, it's only, yeah, it's only in the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperium and Chaos, I guess. Yeah, so the second will probably, probably go like... Um, you get this ability. As long as the yeah. unit you're targeting doesn't have Imperium or Chaos. Or Chaos. That could be a thing. Well. Um, but <laughs> the, I guess we can mention this now. So there are talks mm. about... Oh, we can talk about the Tau one, right. There's a rumor about yeah. there being a stratagem or an ability that remove Tau marker lights. And the thing I thought yeah. when I heard this is that if that is true, it's probably just the case that they will get either one or two stratagems that is focused against all the different Sinos armies. Yeah. So against Tau, they have the stratagem to remove marker lights. Against Orcs, they might get re-rolls in close combat. In, you know, something else, they get something else. Yeah. Against, against Dark Elder, thing. ignore leadership bonus <laughs> changes or something. Just something that counters Maybe. what that army does, is kind of yeah. what I'm feeling. That would be a thing. Yeah. And that would be cool, because since Death Watch yeah. is just one single army, and all their stratagems would just be for them, in a, a way to make it more flavorful and still give them more stratagems so they feel more complete. Because that is the issue I have with Death Guard at the moment, that they didn't get a lot of things that were super flavorful in their in their codex, because they're just the Death yeah. Guard. Yeah. So they couldn't do a lot of special ones. Uh, yeah. And a lot of them are very chaos basic ones. So that was kind of unfortunate yeah. because the it's mostly because the Death Guard Codex was so early, they hadn't kind mm. of figured out what they wanted to do with strategy, I think. <laughs> but it yeah. would be a nice way for the Death Watch to be more like, oh, 
here's your death watch stratagems that do things for all of your units. But if you're in this matchup, you can use this, and in this matchup, this, yeah. and so on as well. It would be basically like um, chapter stratagems for yeah. each uh, space marine space marine chapter, except it's the about games. who you're facing. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And I like that idea. It is very <clears throat> fitting yeah. for them as well. Yeah, since they are an army focusing on fighting Xenos. They would kind of kind of interesting to see actually how they would fare against a um, Imperium army or a Chaos army then, because they would be a lot weaker then. Would they though? If they only have like one stratagem, I guess it still would be one stratagem, but it depends on how good it yeah. is. Like if they're, yeah. if the Tau one is only marker lights, is it better mm. than what the other stratagems they have is? We don't know what they have yet, of course. No, so that's true. It might not be the strongest strategy to use and i don't mm. feel like those ones will be the strongest stratagems no but who knows yeah how about uh, was... the aspects aspects can one uh, i mean that just sounds like they're so would you explain that one what that is yeah so it is a the rumor about the stratagem called the aspect scan uh, but it, it, it will work kind of like aspect scan uh the aspect scan works like if a enemy unit is deep striking within a certain range yep uh, that unit or the the friendly unit can then shoot the enemy unit he has deep striked like it was in the shooting phase but with a shooting penalty into the minus one to, to hit here they talk about using that except not deep striking mm -hmm. so i guess it's like if a enemy unit, enemy Xenos unit is charging you, or it's it gets within a certain range. If it moves near or, you. Or if it advances, let's say let's say it advances within a certain range. Yeah. The uh, kill, kill team can, can then shoot that unit. Yeah. Which would make kind of sense, because there's still an elite army with fewer units, so if something yeah. actually assaults and then charges it really, that's really bad for them yes if they manage to kill like one super kitted kill team that's a lot of points that you're losing yeah without so you would, getting would be to do a good anything thing to actually have something that counteract a first turn charge or at least a second turn charge talking <laughs> about that i really hope that's almost not a stratagem like that's just another mm -hmm. rule they get because i really hope the kill teams get more good rules for making them <laughs> more survivable yeah. either lower their points that they have now because they're super expensive mm. because you have to yeah. kick them out and everything mm -hmm. or give them more rules and please give them another wound or another toughness <laughs> or you know something to make them a bit more tanky just a mm. little bit we're not asking for a lot one wound you just have to plus one in the document it's all good <laughs> super easy to do probably uh but maybe I mean... that would be too good i don't know I would see one more toughness then. It would make actually. sense, right? Yeah. In my mind, it would make sense. they have better armor than everything else. Everybody else. And they are, you know, the hardcore marines. <laughs> yeah. So it would make sense. One extra wound would kind of, I guess, that would <clears throat> stop Primaris from being interesting. Yeah, and it would, I think then one they would extra be matched, wound would really cheaper. break the whole, th the whole thing, I think, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, break, I, I wouldn't say that, but... Oh. It would be interesting to see how they will make the kill teams more worth it anyway. Probably yes. with more rules and not <laughs> changing their stats so much, I yeah. think. And we also get stratagems so, now, of course, and stuff like that. So that's yeah, obviously a help. buff as well. That uh, will help a lot. So in all the rumors that have been out, there's no talk about new models. And I that's nope. fine because the Primaris is kind of <laughs> already new models. Yeah. If they add that. The only thing so, is a conversion kit would be nice. Like a proper one. Not just like, here's some extra shoulder pads. <laughs> yeah. So the, the conversion kit that is out can actually be used on the basic Primaris Marines and the Terminator shoulder pads can be used on the bigger ones. Yeah. But they, it would be nice if they made like a Primaris specific one so you get some of the arms and stuff like that. Maybe mm. some of the bigger weapons. Uh, with. Uh... I mean, they still have the uh, Death Watch still have special breastplates, right? Uh, so you have, do you mean the normal kill team marines? Yeah, exactly. So it would be kind of cool to see uh, some Primaris marines with the uh, 
the heavier uh, front plate? The heavier, a little bit more. With the ammunition and yeah. everything? Yeah, with the ammunition and the uh, what's called inquisitorial sign on yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I would yeah. like to see some weapons in the kit as well with some yeah. of the symbols and stuff. Yeah, that would be a good thing. Yeah. Um, weapons or even just like small things that you can put on their armor somewhere so that you can see that they are... They only yeah, do, do have that for like the Ultramarines and the... Um, Dark Angels, Blood Angels. Dark Angels and Blood Angels, yeah. yeah. There's also, we can confirm this right now, there is confirmed there will be a Space Wolf conversion kit for Primaris as well. Uh, they Ooh. have leaked some images of that in... Mm. I think it was in... Was it in the Chaos? No, it was in the... What are they called? The Blue Chaos Marines. <laughs> Oh, the, uh... Um, exactly. Exactly that. <laughs> I got a brain fart, so um, save me. I can't. I can't save you. Save me. <laughs> that scene uh, once. It's, the, it's all... It's on the tip of the tongue. I want to say sons of something, but it's not sons of something. Anyway, in that codex, they had images of Mars Marine Space Wolves that had new things on it that has not been released. So, there we go. Uh, so new no models. Hopefully, a conversion. Thousand kit. suns. It was something with suns. Yeah, <laughs> thousand suns. There we go. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So okay. what else are we hoping for? Uh, we have the flyer. I I, w I had some idea about talking about how they would like rethink the flyer, but the flyer is really kind of good already in the Death Watch. Yeah, it's crazy good already. Uh. They have already changed some rules for it from the index as well and the FAQs. Yeah. I could only see if they want the army to be good. Maybe there will be like lowering in points. Maybe. Nah. And maybe a, or maybe a special rule that says if you have all your units in flyers, you don't lose the game. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. I would also love to see a Primaris chapter master or some new kind of HQ choice. Because right now we have we have all the basic Space Marine options and the yeah. Chapter Master and uh, <clears throat> Captain something something, whatever his name is, that you don't Well, that would actually be a Artemis. thing, because lore-wise, if I'm remembering correctly, there are entire chapters com comprised by just Primaris Marines because... Yes. They they wrote that in the lore in a way because people yeah. might want to play only Primaris with their own chapters. Yeah. So just to make exactly. you know to make sure that makes sense, they added, oh, the Primaris also farmed some small chapters. Yeah. So, so that, that would make, make sense. sense. So a, a chapter master for a Primaris Marine would be a good thing, or would be a, a lore wise thing. Yeah. Yes, I, guess, I am uh, eating. I, as always, <laughs> I guess it's not actually called chapter master. No, it's called a watch master. Uh, the uh, oh. the Death Watch ones. Well, I would like to see a Primaris version of that. Anyway, well, they could have a Primaris Chapter Master and then have a conversion kit for for it to make it become a Watch Master. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just it would be fun to see what that kind of Chapter Master would be. Just like better stats and other weapons, basically. Yeah, of course, like always. <laughs> yeah, like always, because that's what Primaris do. And, and a uh, aura buff. Of course. Oh yeah, and yeah, of course. Like all the same buffs and stuff. It's just that it's yeah, a Primaris version of it. Would it then be a buff for just Death Watch Primaris units or all Death Watch units? All Death Watch units. Okay. Because it's keyworded that way, even in the Space Marine context, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Primaris. Yeah, there's still Space Marines with uh, the the uh, chapter keyword. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> That's true. Uh, what else are we hoping for? Since I am the Death Watch player, I guess I would have <laughs> yeah, to say so what I'm hoping, hoping for. for. I'm just really... Because the kill teams is the reason you play Death Watch. Yeah. Like, you want to kit out your units to be cool, and then you put them on the table, they die in a turn, and you cry because they cost <laughs> so many points. I just want them yeah. to fix all the points, either by making them better or just lowering the points. Just doing something in between there so that the units don't feel so last cannon like yeah. wise. I mean I uh, can I can kinda of agree on that one. 
because right now they do feel a lot like really heavy punching, but but then they get shot they at and die. they die. Yeah, and they die, die like so. marines, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but they're still yeah. more expensive. Um, yeah. I would also like to see that the special ammunition goes out to everything because right now special ammunition <laughs> is a rule, and only kill teams yeah. and bikes have the rule in the codex. Some leaders <clears throat> have it as well, I guess. Mm. So it's a special rule that some units have. I would like to be it to be like a chapter thing. So in the codex it says, if your army is a Death Watch army, all your units get this ammo if they shoot a bolt gun <laughs> weapon. Yeah. Or a bolt weapon. That's what I would like to see. Would um, it apply on dreadnoughts as well? If they have heavy bolt... No, it's not on heavy bolters. Uh, so no... Yeah. If they have storm bolters, yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, I Can wouldn't you... mind it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It's not like they're good now. <laughs> <laughs> True. What else would I like to see? I mean, I just want to see the stratagems and the rules. Oh. Specific psychic powers, maybe, would be fun. But psychic I don't. Powers? They can't have psychers. But I'm, I'm just guessing that if, if they get like one of those, it's just gonna be the space marine one, copy pasted. Probably. Yeah, it would probably be that. Uh, maybe copy pasted or one or three different ones. It depends on how they do it in the codex. I mean, I would like to see different ones just to make them more. Do they separate. have psychers? Yeah, they have librarians. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> who knows? As long as we don't get read in the Space Spring Codex to see what your psychic <laughs> powers are. Like, what the fuck? Nah, that will be a bit deep. A yeah, bit that cheap, won't happen. That I won't can happen. agree on that one. Yeah. And uh, there are not that many psychic powers in a way, so... There's six, right? Uh, yes. Like, all the Codexes got six. Uh, and yeah. Except the Demon one got nine? Or something? Yeah. Or I more? I don't remember. I think you get like three basic ones in the demon, and then depending on what faction it is, you get three other ones. So it's twelve yeah. psychic powers, I think. Yeah. Don't remember well, exactly. Space Marine have six. Yeah. Like they should. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, four poor Space Marines. What else? What or what are you uh, hoping for with this? Even though you don't play Death Watch, like what? What would I you like to play see? That much. I, don't, I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm really co confused. I'm not confused, but I'm really like. I don't know what I really want to see. Because I never really got into how they work. Yeah. Really. We need to play some games. And I just recently uh, bought a bunch of Death Watch, so <laughs> but I'm waiting. Oh, I, yeah. I need to fix them up and repaint them and give them other weapons. But I'm gonna wait for the yeah. codex to come out so I can see the points values and you know, kind of yeah, what thing. they should be equipped with. Because you don't yes. want to give them all the cool guns and then the codex come out and it's like, oh, this gun actually it's the worst one now. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that would be sucky. The cool thing oh, about the Death Watch is that all of them can have chain swords for free at the moment. <laughs> so they basically have one extra attack. Yeah. Which is cool. I like that. So that's yes. if you're looking at my. Death Watch over here, they all have swords. I'm pretty sure, unless they have a heavy weapon. Oh, we also have my Assault Death Watch over there. Mm, yeah, because double pistols mm, yeah. is the way to go. Sadly, oh. I did not have enough pistols. How? Why double pistols? Oh, yeah, one Special bolt, ammunition. One, and one... Uh, For my plasma. ones, I have one bolt and one plasma, <clears throat> but the way to do it is actually to have two bolt pistols. Because yeah. then you have the special ammunition on all the guns. Fair enough. Which is really good. Which is better than having plasma. But I put some plasmas because I didn't have enough bolt pistols rolling around. <laughs> and plasma pistols aren't bad. No, they aren't. But still, they are kind of boring. Just it's, so it's still, no special am am ammunition. No. And they are seven points, I believe. Which is worse than a zero point weapon that gives you special rules. So, yeah. Yeah. The balance mm. there is kind of confusing. Uh, and that's also why the Death Watch Marines are so much more expensive, because they have the special ammunition, and it's counted yeah. for in everything. But as soon as you remove the bolter from the Marine, it's like, oh, now I don't have that rule anymore. But it still costs extra just, points. It's now Justin's very, very expensive Marine. Yep. That sucks, but still fun. De I maybe that would be a thing. 
Uh, tell me, what, what's your thinking? What if you, you think? choose to not have a bolt, or bolt weapon on, on a guy, the cost of the guy goes down. I don't think they would write a rule like that. I understand what you're or saying. Or maybe, maybe or they just... will switch it around. So the rule applies to all the bolt weapons that the Death Watch have and not on the Marine itself. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want it to be. I want it to be an army-wide bolt weapon rule. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and yeah. the way they could change that is also lower the points and everything and then give the bolt weapons in the Codex uh, points. Like, yeah. the bolt weapon is now two points instead of just a zero or a one, like in other codexes. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Just so, to yeah. balance out that. Would that. Make more, that would make more sense, really. Yeah. Than to just have it as a base thing. It would make a lot more sense. Mm-hmm. It would make me very happy <laughs> as a person <laughs> to be able to take cheaper kill team units or marines and then just equipping what them I and would... if they have the right things. Do you know what I would like to see, actually? I would like to have no a kill team it, it breaks the it breaks the new yeah that too <laughs> <laughs> it break it kind of breaks the new rule set a bit mm-hmm. you know the the one that you can't mix in a uh, detachment yeah but i would like lore wise like you can if you can, you can choose one guy in your squad mm-hmm to be a former death watch marine and give him a uh, special ammunition. Bolter. Like, yeah. That you can use only like once per battle or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be cool. I that would some, be cool, yeah. But that's why you have books. your veteran marines or whatever they're called. But they don't have special marines, but special ammunition. They don't have that anymore, right? They used to have special ammunition. Yeah, they that maybe. It. Now they're just regular marines. They're just. Their bolters are a bit stronger, though, right? No, they're not. Well, except you, if you don't the, take the special bolters. Yeah, exactly. They have access they to some stronger, other kind of bolter. Yeah. If, if you just give them normal bolters, they're just marines with an extra attack and mm-hmm. some more morale. That's it. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, I also I read a book once that had a Death Watch, former Death Watch marine in it, and he had like a belt of special ammunition on him mm-hmm. from his time there because. Any ex Death Watch member still can still use their old weaponry. Yeah. Or they are supplied with an amount of special ammunition after they resign from the Death Watch team. Hmm. They get to keep that stuff, basically. Yeah. Uh, so that would be cool. Another strategy that we forgot to mention is that there's probably going to be one that allows you to split up groups. Yeah. Uh, it's not very. I, <clears throat> It's a basic thing for... Marines in general. Marines. Also, that means that you can, if you need to, if you have a, as you have here in your picture, a 50-50 of jump packs and normal Marines, you can actually split jump packs and let them fly off to another place. Mm -hmm. I don't think, this is actually two different units, or that's the point of this picture anyway. Uh, I don't think you would ever put like five jump packs in one. In one normal unit, yeah. that would just be a yeah, but still that uh, could be a thing. But yeah, just um, or uh, like if you have um, objectives, if you need to split up to secure yeah. two objectives or something like that. Yeah, there are definitely oh, moments where it can work for you. Yeah, it exactly. also makes it harder for your opponent to be like sure about how he wants to shoot if you split up units. Yeah, maybe that it- would maybe that strategy would be like no limits on how big your unit is i mean in the uh, space marine book it says if your unit is 10 marines strong right. you can split them right but maybe here you like if you, you can just, just use it a, whenever you, yeah exactly it, it doesn't have a special number limit on it it would make sense so much yeah. like the um the golden boys one where they split <laughs> uh, up yeah attack. exactly Exactly. But it is for a special type of golden boys. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, basically. So it has happened before, the... actually. So it has it... happened before. So it would make beyond... sense if they. It wouldn't be beyond possibility. No. And that would be fun. Yeah. Anyway, I think we rammed on way too long. So let's yeah. wrap this up, shall we? Thank you for listening, everybody that joined in. Don't forget to check the information down below and all the buttons. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch it live. Check the links 
below we will go live whenever we feel like it whenever there's a new <laughs> rumor or a new thing it's out there cool like that that we want to talk about we'll just hit the live well not exactly just hit the live button but we'll go live we'll talk about it we'll have fun yeah and then you can all harass us in the comments about how wrong we are or, <laughs> my god these people are so yeah. boring to listen to and so on and um, yeah do you have anything to say h before we move along goodbye everybody i hope you enjoy this little show this little talk about our or about nurgle so the marines <laughs> that i'm a bit actually a very bit very very bit much jealous about oh <laughs> are you also do you also like the death watch i i love the death watch yeah i mean the thing was either death watch or raven guard but raven guards was easier to make so it has to be raven guard that's yeah, true. But when the codex come out, we could always like you could always borrow it and yeah, pick it out. And everything. We'll see. All right. Thank everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.